Yo, it's Herman here, and welcome back to the channel where I share my experience in making engaging short form content. Now, as a video editor and filmmaker, I'm always looking for ways to make my edits look sick, make them stand out, and grab the viewer's eyeballs so they don't scroll past all the hard work that I put in. One of the most popular ways is to replace your hard cuts with crazy transitions. And I think there's like this new breed of filmmakers who use enough whooshy transitions and flashy cuts to give someone epilepsy. But the real problem is that everyone is using the same damn thing, and the transitions you learn might not work well for certain genres of videos. That's why I'm going to share with you five glitch transitions that are specifically for more modern and stylized videos. And I personally use them on almost every project that I work on. These are great to have in your tool belt for your next hip hop music video or commercial with a slick futuristic theme. But hey, I'm not going to stop you if you use these on like your next wedding video or something. Just tag me if you do, because that actually sounds pretty awesome. These transitions are going to have more glitches than Cyberpunk 2077. So launch your After Effects and let's get into it. The classic RGB split is one of the first glitch effects that I learned when I even knew what video editing was. And it's something that has stood the test of time because I still see it being used so often even now. We're going to be using two built-in effects to accomplish this transition, the shift channels and the wiggle position effect. You're first going to pre-compose the two clips that you want to create a transition for by hitting Control shift c I'd also recommend adding a marker for reference on when you want the effect to happen. Duplicate the layer twice so that you have three layers in total. Add a shift channels effect on one of the layers and have the take red from set to red and then turn the green and blue ones underneath off by selecting full off for both of them. Copy the effect by hitting control C and then paste it to the layer underneath with control V. This time you're going to turn the red channel off and have the take green from set to green. Paste the effect to the final layer and this time have the take blue from set to blue while having the other color channels off. So what you've essentially done is separate your layers into three different color channels. Red red, green, and blue. Now to merge them back together, highlight the layers and set the blending mode to screen. Ta-da! It looks like nothing has happened. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. I'm just kidding. That was a terrible joke. This is where the fun will actually begin. Take the wiggle position effect and slap it on one of the layers. I'm going to keyframe the wiggle speed and wiggle amount so that it starts at zero. That is until it reaches my transition point where we're going to bump the number up to something that you think looks good. We'll then add keyframes so that it ends back at zero. You can then copy the wiggle position and transform effect from your effects control panel and paste them to another layer. And then, you know, just have some fun and adjust the values according to your taste. And voila, this is your basic RGB split transition. If you're concerned about the edge of the frame showing during the wiggle, you can add a motion tile effect on the very top. You just got to check the mirror edges box and then extend the output width and height values. All right, this one is another simple but great way of adding a glitch transition by making your footage flicker into your next clip. And how we do that is by importing a glitchy clip, something you can download from a royalty-free stock footage site or a digital pack from your favorite creator. In this example, I'm going to be using an analog clip from CinePacks. You can make a new composition and then trim the glitchy clip into the moments that you actually want to keep and use. And basically what happens is we'll be using the brighter parts of the clip to determine which parts of your footage will show through. That didn't make sense, did it? This will all make sense in a bit. I try to create a pretty harsh contrast so that there are brighter white parts and then make it black and white. In your composition with the two clips you want to make a transition for, extend one of the clips and then split it by hitting Control Shift D. Drop the glitch composition in and change the track mat of your extended clip into either Luma mat or Luma inverted mat. It all depends on what looks good to you. Now, when you play it through, it looks like the clip flickers into the next one. Like I mentioned before, the footage uses the brighter parts of your glitch comp to show through and then make that flicker effect if you choose the Luma mat and it's inverted if you choose Luma inverted mat. The cool part about this is that you can get different looks by just replacing the glitch footage with something else. So knock yourself out with this one. Not not literally. Displacement maps are another great way for you to use glitchy footage to make a sick transition. It basically offsets certain parts of your footage. With the same setup as before, where you have the glitch footage or comp inside, make a new adjustment layer and call it something like displacement map, and then apply the displacement map effect to that adjustment layer. Now set the displacement map layer to the glitch comp. Have the horizontal displacement set to luminance and then start messing around with the values until you get a nice glitch effect. Boom, quick and easy. Now, if this isn't intense enough for you because you wanna make it look like you just downloaded a virus from the dark web, here's a couple things that you can do. First little tip is to duplicate your displacement maps so that it really distorts your footage. Second tip is to combine the luma map flicker so that only parts of your footage will glitch in. You know what? Combine the RGB split while you're at it. Now 
that's a glitch. All right, let's get into the serious stuff that is not built into After Effects. We're gonna download a free plugin from AE Scripts called Displacer Pro. It's basically the displacement map that you just learned, but on crack. What you wanna do is extend and split the beginning clip, just like kind of what we did before, and then place it on the very top. Drop the Displacer Pro effect and change the map layer to the clip that you want to transition into. You can now take the values from any channels you think would work, but I like to use luminance. Now under map adjustments, I like to have the displacement easing set to ease in, but you can always change this later once you play around with the effect. You're going to keyframe the translate X so that it starts at 0%, move over about one second, and then drag the value to something that you're happy with. You can also go back to the map adjustments and look for displacement offset, where you can keyframe it and have the footage completely slide out the frame for a cleaner transition. Once all those things are done, you can add some chromatic aberration to get that classic glitchy feeling by adjusting the values of the red, green, and blue channels. Smash that space bar to play it back because now you've got yourself another sick transition under your belt. Also smash the like button if you're enjoying what you're learning so far. Oh man, I can't believe I just said smash the like button. I feel a little gross. So. I decided to save my favorite one for last because I think this one's for people who really love glitch effects and transitions. It uses a plugin called Pixel Sorter that you can also grab from AE Scripts, but it is a paid plugin. Personally, I found that it's worth it because I use it a lot and you can be the judge on whether it's a good fit for you after checking out this transition. So a simple way to use it is by first making an adjustment layer and then slapping on the effect. If I want the effect to happen from left to right, then I'll keep the angle at 90 degrees. But don't worry, you can always adjust this depending on what kind of look that you want. I like to start by keyframing the threshold at its neutral point and then move over to when I want the transition to happen. I'll drop another keyframe and then start pushing the value until I get something that has nice streaky pixels. Then I just duplicate my beginning keyframe so that it ends in its default state. To make it look like the pixels streak over from left to right, I check the invert sorting box and then keyframe it. In the next frame, I'll uncheck the invert sorting so that when it hops over to the next clip, it continues the left to right motion. There's a lot of parameters I can play with like the block size where I can make the streaks a bit chalkier instead of these malnourished pixels. And voila, a simple pixel sorting transition. Now this is only one of the many things that you can do with Pixel Sorter. And I've even put out a tutorial before on making a sick looping animation if you wanna check that out. But there you guys have it, five glitch transitions that you can use for your next video. Let me know in the comments which one is your favorite and how you would like to use it. If you learned something today, do me a favor and hit the like button, not smash it, just, just a nice little love tap. And subscribe if you would like to see more content like this on the channel. Don't forget the bell notification if you don't want to miss the next one. Might be what the kids like to call these days a uh, banger. By the way, if you're serious about adding edgy futuristic elements in your projects, then I actually made a motion graphic asset pack called Enter the Future. But I'm not gonna make you sit through an ad, so you can just click the little pop-up for more information. You can check out my Instagram as well, which is at Coffee Liquor if you wanna personally see what I'm up to. Otherwise, stay safe. Again, my name is Herman, and I'll see you guys in the next video.